Hello guys, how are you? How is your trading week? I hope it's a good trading week. Now, in this video, what we're going to be looking at are some principles from the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. If you're a book nerd, um, you would have heard of it. It's one of the New York bestsellers. It's a really great book on how to accumulate wealth from a personal um, finances to, you know, how to become rich basically out of any situation in life so we're going to look at how those lessons can be applied or transformed and impact into trading right so without further ado if you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe so that you won't miss out on content whenever we put out um, and if you'll find this video helpful please do like and share with a friend that you believe the video will be of help to them so Start, starting off, it's the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. So the first principle that is described in the book, if you want to become rich, is desire. You need to desire to be rich. Like, not just any desire, because obviously anybody wants to be rich. Everybody desires to be rich. But your desire has to be burning. It has to be that burning desire, like it doesn't make you sleep. Now, switching this to trading, same thing applies if you want to become a successful trader it has to be that burning desire now going back to that example i remember there was a time in my life um i was still in college I hadn't dropped out yet but i had i stayed up all night just thinking how can trading make me successful how can trading change my finances you know like i stayed up all night i slept at five in the morning that's how badly i wanted it now, if you are you want it badly enough, it doesn't matter if it's trading, if it's whatever you're going after in life, if it's riches, if you have that burning desire, I promise you, it's going to happen for you. I promise you that. Cool. So that's the first step towards to become rich or, you know, a successful trader. You need to have it first as a burning desire. It has to be burning inside. It won't let you rest because it's burning you from the inside out. You know what I mean? So desire or a burning desire has to be the first step for you to actually accumulate riches or become a successful trader. The second step is faith. You need to have faith. For those that are religious, you understand like the saying that goes, faith can move a mountain. <laughs> so that's true. That's true. That's true in whatever you're doing too. If you have faith, unwavering faith, it will happen for you. Whether it's accumulating riches or becoming a successful trader, it will happen for you if you have that unwavering faith. Because with faith, doors will be opened that you didn't even know exist. That's how faith, how that's how strong faith is. That saying that says faith can move a mountain is not a joke. I believe that. If you believe, if you have faith, ways will be made where there weren't ways so faith is the second step if you want to accumulate riches or become a successful trader faith the second thing the third thing is auto suggestion now with auto suggestion um in the book he describes about ways in which you can automatically you know subconsciously suggest to yourself that maybe you'll become rich or whatever but Obviously, we're we are switching this to a trading perspective because we are traders. With trading, I believe it's the, the way you can auto-suggest for yourself is by placing yourself in front of proof that shows you that it's possible. Now, in this world, the statistics go that over 90% of traders are losing traders. So that means a lot of people out there are surrounded by people that aren't successful. As a, are surrounded by people that haven't made it yet now if you're in that environment long enough it might cripple you it might show you that it's not possible that whatever you do you'll never make it now you need to place yourself in an environment that suggests the opposite that shows you evidence that being a successful trader is possible being rich being wealthy being a billionaire that's possible you need to press yourself in environments that can actually 
build ways for you that this is also possible show you the other side of the coin that this is also possible in life it's also to be successful a trader it's possible for you to make five six figures you know a month through trading you need to place yourself with those types of traders you need to associate with them you need to talk to them so that it can actually be in in your subconscious that yes this is also possible because without that you'll never be able to move forward you'll never be able to believe that yes this is possible because i i know someone that has done it you know so um for me i say with trading auto suggestion is by placing yourself in environments that show you evidence that it is possible to you know be successful in trading um the fourth thing is imagination ah oh, imagination <laughs> Um, do you know that they say, um, did you know that they say if you, uh, for instance, you close your eyes and imagine yourself giving yourself, giving a presentation, maybe in front of a class or a podium, whatever, you're giving a speech, let's say, in front of a crowd of people, you, by, by imagining it, by closing your eyes and imagining it and doing it physically, the brain cannot differentiate which is real and which is not. Did you know that? <laughs> crazy the first time i realized that too, it changed my paradigm of how i looked at things now that's actually true the brain has a really hard time differentiating between what really happened and what was imagined okay now for you to become a successful trader or rather than what he talks about in the book for you to become rich you need to imagine yourself being rich you need to imagine yourself abundant with opportunities that bring money to you imagine yourself in that house imagine yourself in that car you know in that rari imagine yourself taking vacations right now with trading you need to imagine yourself being consistent you need to imagine yourself trades hitting that take profit you need to imagine yourself being a disciplined trader you need to imagine yourself making that five six seven figures income through trading imagining that will actually make yourself or it will actually push yourself to do the actions that will bring out that successful trader out out of you so that means okay if you imagine yourself you're a seven figure trader that imagination will keep you up so much that if you combine like that with desire right so it will keep you up so much that you'll have to find ways to actually become a seven figure trader if it's going to be with prop firms, you will figure it out. At the end of the day, you'll find a way to actually make your imagination come true. They say everything that's created was first imagined. What makes you think um, your trading account is any different? <laughs> if you want to imagine, if you want to trade a seven-figure account, you first have to imagine it. You can't land it if you've never imagined it. I know that to be a fact. If you've never imagined yourself trading a $1 million account, do you think you'll ever trade a $1 million account? Obviously not. So imagination. You need to imagine the type of trader you want to be before you actually become that type of trader. The fifth thing is specific knowledge. So obviously, all of these come beforehand but at the end of the day, you need to get that specific knowledge. Um, in the book, he says for, for you to become rich, obviously there are a billion ways for you to go about it, right? But whatever way you pick, you need to get that specific knowledge in order for it to work. Same applies with trading. If you want to become a successful trader, you first have to learn the strategy. You have to learn the ways in which professional traders maneuver the market so that you can actually become one. So you need to have that specific knowledge before you can actually become one of success, right? So um, with specific knowledge, I think it's self-explanatory that you need to have that specific knowledge of whatever criteria you're in so that you can actually apply it for it to actually bring forth the results that you want, right? So specific knowledge is something else that has to be applied in whatever desire or whatever goal you're trying to reach 
And the sixth thing that you need to apply if you want to have riches or become a good trader is organized planning. So yes, you may desire something, you may have faith, you may auto-suggest yourself into a situation, you may imagine all you want, you may have all the specific knowledge, but at the end of the day, you have to have an organized plan. Like if, for instance, you want to make a million dollars, you don't just wake up in the morning and say you want to make a million dollars. No, you have to plan it. Okay, to make a million dollars, first I have to make about maybe, if you want to make it, let's say, in a year, you'll have to say that's roughly about around 100k a month let's take the 200k that's extra as damage right collateral so that means that will be about roughly about 100k a month so that means you have to figure out a way to make 100k a month each month so that by the end of the year you can have you will have made one million dollars so that's planning ahead of time you don't wake up in november and say before the year ends i want to make a million dollars hell now nah, you won't how will you make a million dollars? You haven't planned it. You haven't seen your plan through. It's impossible. So for you to achieve anything, you need to plan strategically how you're going to reach there before you actually make it there, right? So um, that's all I've prepared for today. These are the first six lessons that are from the book, Think and Grow Rich, for you to accumulate riches. I've just tried to spin them on the trading perspective. Um, tell me what you think in the comments below. Was it helpful? Should I release a part two of the other six um, on, of the other six things that you need to follow on in order to be rich and spin them into trading perspective? Or do you think this video was a nah? Just stick with trading. <laughs> let me let me know what you think. Till next time, guys. I appreciate your time. If you've watched until the end, I appreciate you. Have a good one.